Good morning. Let us pray together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your My brothers and sisters, let us take a moment to acknowledge our sin and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant a joyful outcome to our prayers, O Lord, so that we, who each year honor the, honor the Blessed Virgin Mary, may also imitate her, and especially her faith, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Kings. Elijah set out and came upon Elisha, son of Shaphat, as he was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen. He was following the twelfth. Elijah went over to him and threw his cloak over him. Elisha left the oxen, ran after Elijah, and said, Please let me kiss my father and mother goodbye, and I will follow you. Elijah answered, Go back. Have I done anything to you? Elisha left him and, taking the yoke of oxen, slaughtered them. He used the plowing equipment for fuel to boil their flesh and gave it to his people to eat. Then he left and followed Elijah as his attendant. The word of the Lord. Be you are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, My Lord, you are you. My Lord, are you. O oh Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart, heart exhorts me. I set the Lord over ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Alleluia, alleluia. Incline my heart, O God, to your decrees, and favor me with your law. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, Do not take a false oath, but make good to the Lord all that you vow. But I say to you, do not swear at all, not by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head, for you cannot make a single hair white or black. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything else is from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. We are in the midst of wedding season. I have a wedding this afternoon at St. Mary's down in South Omaha. We've had weddings almost every weekend. 
And there are always joyful celebrations and the prayer and the hope, and I know the hope of the couples that are making these promises is the promises they make, the yes that they're saying to one another is firm. That they make those pledges in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others. And yet we know that at times, and even our own personal commitments and our commitments to our faith can waver at times. But we are to follow that example of the Blessed Mother whose yes was firm. I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. Jesus says very clearly, let your yes mean yes and your no mean no. To stand firm in those commitments and promises we make. And we can take the example of Elisha from the first reading. Elisha is invited by Elijah to be a prophet and to follow in his footsteps. And Elisha is firm in his commitment. We see that by the fact that he takes the 12 oxen he was plowing with and he slaughters them. In the plowing instruments, he uses his fuel to boil the flesh and give the food to the people. He's not going back to farming. He has burnt down and killed off everything. His commitment is firm, and he's going to follow. We come to the Eucharist, and the Lord is firm in his commitment to us. He has sealed that commitment and promise with his blood. May we go forth this day, and especially in our commitment to faith, let our yes be yes, and our no be no. Let us pray. that the church may continue to grow in holiness as she works to build the kingdom here on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that elected officials may be led by the Holy Spirit to enact laws that uphold the dignity of all people, especially the unborn. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that all who are persecuted for their faith may be, plea may be blessed with the courage and strength to follow the Lord in spite of hardship. Let us pray to the Lord that this faith community may be blessed with the fruits of the Spirit in our work and ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear that all who have died, marked with the sign of faith, may soon see the face of God. And we remember especially Ken Schluter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear Let us pause to write our own personal needs and intentions in the prayers written in the petition book here in the church. Let us pray to the Lord. God, our Father, we come before you in faith. Hear these prayers. Give answer according to your will. For we offer them through the intercession of the Blessed Mother. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit. God, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, as we rejoice in commemoration of the mother of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange we may advance towards eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, 
look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, under sacramental signs, we may profess him in words and so, so hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thank you.